lot of folks dream how they're going to spend the retirement, but a lot of people don't actually have a strategy to make that all happen. Local financial professional John Vandergriff from Blue Ridge Wealth Planners is here to share some steps to help you retire on time. So I guess one of the questions would be how many people really have, do we have like some statistics on having a real retirement plan? Not a good statistic. So, oh, uh, so we have one. I can give you a in practice statistic because the okay. one that I found said one out of five, but then they had a lot of stipulations where it was like 40 to 80 with at least $100,000 right. saved. So it was like, I saw that statistic and was like, there's no way there's one out of five. Because right. I could count really on one hand the amount of times that I've seen people come in with a formal written plan right. that covers more than just how you need to invest your money. Because right. there is a difference between an investment pot and strategy and a retirement plan that covers just more than how you put that investment plan together. Right. So th what steps do people then need to take? I mean, if there are not a lot of folks who really are there, yeah. what, be it one out of five, be it one out of ten, what are the steps we need to take? Well, the first is know that you're not alone. Because some people feel like, oh, well, I don't have this taken care of. You're in the majority, not the minority. So, But as we look at this, the first step that's easy to do is assess where your expenses are. You know, Even if you're a few years out from retirement, looking at it in today's money right. and then being able to factor inflation on that, you just need to know what it is that it takes to provide the income that you need. Uh, the, the other thing that gets lost in the equation a lot of times is factoring in long-term care. Because, uh, again, a lot of the traditional long-term care policies have started to fade away because it was more expensive than the company's thought. So trying to make sure that, yes, we've got a plan to cover our expenses, but what money's left over and how does it need to be positioned to make sure that we have money available for the health care needs? Because statistics show people 65 and older, 70% of them will need some type of assistance. And so it's just the unknown factors for how long and how much right. uh, as far as the cost goes. Um, go. I was going to say, people, people, I'm assuming, feel overwhelmed by this because yeah. either either you were, there's those few people that said, hey, I'll start doing this at 20 and then most people wait and they go, hey, I'm going to be retiring here. Yeah. It's got to be feeling overwhelming. What, what do you, what's your advice for them? Well, I think no matter where you're at in the process, consulting with somebody who does this for a living right. is not a bad idea because if you're in the early part, you know, it seems daunting. How am I going to build this massive right. amount of money? Well, it's kind of the same advice of how do you eat an elephant? It's like one bite <laughs> at a time, you know, it feels like, okay, I'm never going to get there, but compound interest is an amazing thing if you just stay diligent in the process. If you're closer to, figuring out how to take that bucket of money and make it do all the things you want to is very important because, again, too many times people say, I'm just going to grow past all my problems. Right. Well, what happens if the growth isn't there? You've got to make sure that you have some different jobs that you almost assign your money out to to make sure you're covering all the bases right. you need to get. And no elephants were hurt in the taping of this No segment. elephants were eaten. It was just uh, an example. Just a reference <laughs> to compound interest. So, right. By the way, I like that suit. Yeah. Almost so like we went to the same place. I think we called each other. <laughs> yeah, there we go. All right.